Uh, first topic is what would, how would Fox News have covered Ma Martin Luther King? which is a very interesting idea. Oh, I think we can look at how they treated Barack Obama as an example of how they would treat Martin Luther King, even though Barack Obama's politics are quite centrist uh, and agreed upon by much of the United States. They've called him a socialist. They've implied that he's a Muslim, a terrorist. I, I think that Martin Luther King would be called openly a communist. Martin Luther King would have said things if he were alive today, such as you know that we should sit down with the Taliban, we should treat them as brothers. We should see people like Osama bin Laden and the terrorists as our brothers, and he would have been labeled a terrorist in turn. As Cheryl said, everything that King stands for is what they assail Barack Obama for, and the irony is that Obama, like Cheryl said, is so far to the right of King. So I don't even know if Fox News would have the vocabulary necessary to like spew at at um, Martin Luther King, because if they call Obama, you know, a socialist and an instigator of class warfare, I don't even know what they would be able to call Martin Luther King. But everything he was committed to, it's not just the racial politics, but when you get to the foreign policy and also the class um, analysis, he would have been called a Marxist, a communist, he would have been called a class warfare instigator. There's no question about it. It's not just what they would say, it's their reach and their continuous 24 hour, seven day a week, you know, partial truth telling, lie telling, um, where they turn demands and requests for equality into so called special privileges for people of color and working people. Um, I think King would certainly be on the top of their scary black people list, people who are somehow trying to overthrow democracy and freedom. And unfortunately, um, they, they have far too much credibility with many, many Americans. And so I think it would be a very powerful, centralized mass media outlet for the kinds of ideas that were a little bit more diffuse in media outlets in the late 1960s. I, I think you're onto something there. I, you know, I, last word on this. I think that back then, of course there was press against Dr. King. But there was also press in favor of Dr. King. In fact, the whole notion of the liberal media came about during the civil rights era, where conservatives were like, look at these liberals. They want white and black people to be considered equal. What a liberal press, right? And that's where that notion came from. But today, when Fox News attacks, who counterattacks? And, and so they well, seem to dominate yeah. the, the sphere so much. But and I, they also have made it, they're so brilliant at creating this myth that if you talk about race, you're racist. So that would be, Martin Luther King would be, you know, totally in trouble on that, on that level because right. he's clearly a racist person because he talks about race. Just like if you talk about class, you're engaged in class warfare.